Helmuth James von Moltke was born in Poland to a German father and a South African mother of British descent. Between 1927 and 1929 he studied law and in 1935, after completing his studies, he rejected an offer to become a judge because it would require him to join the Nazi party. Instead he began a private practice in the German capital of Berlin. Among other things, his firm helped Jews and other persecuted peoples emigrate from Germany. Between 1935 and 1938, while helping German exiles in the United Kingdom, he studied British law in London and Oxford. In September 1939, as the European war began, he was drafted for service with the Abwehr, which was the German counterintelligence service, as a resident expert in international public law and international laws of war. In this capacity, he travelled extensively and witnessed many human rights abuses in German-occupied Europe. He attempted to persuade others to cease such actions, noting that in October 1941, how can anyone know these things and walk around free? During the war, he wrote an opinion urging Germany to abide by the rules set by the Geneva Convention and the Hague Convention, lobbying that it was not only Germans' legal responsibility, but by doing so, Germany would also ensure good treatment of German prisoners of war in enemy prison camps. This opinion was thus rejected by the military, who cited that Russia was not a signatory of the Geneva Convention, thus it would not ensure good treatment that Moltke wished for. In regards to the treatment of Jews, he wrote several reports that analysed the negative psychological impact on German soldiers after witnessing or participating in mass killings. Slowly, Moltke became one of the leaders of those who opposed the Nazi regime in Germany. He often distributed intelligence that was privileged to those outside of the Nazi party, which later included leaders of resistance groups in occupied Europe. He attempted to contact British officials on two occasions, offering his assistance in the war against Germany, but the British authorities turned down his offer of intelligence. Undeterred, he continued to maintain a small circle of those with anti-Nazi sentiments. The group met at his family estate three times in May 1942, fall 1942 and June 1943, thus earning the nickname the Kressau Circle. Moltke and the Kressau Circle opposed the assassination of Adolf Hitler. They believed that the Nazi regime would soon fall, and they thought that the best course of action was to prepare Germany for the democratic government that would follow. In January 1944, Moltke was arrested by the Gestapo for his anti-Nazi sentiments. He was tried before the People's Court a year later. Roland Friesler, the presiding judge of the court, found that his works on a democratic Germany after the fall of the Ferg Reich were to be treasonous, and sentenced him to death on 11th of January 1945. He was executed at the Potsensee prison in Berlin 12 days later.